Alright, what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into another video. This video is not a gameplay video. Instead, it's actually a OBS uh, solving issue kind of video. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, some of you guys are having an issue where when you use OBS, you can't really capture a game. You have the source, you have everything in there, and for some reason, it just doesn't capture your game. I'm going to open here an instance of uh, OBS, and we're going to create a new... But this one here that has nothing on it and this one as well you basically have reached to the point where you add a game capture press ok and you have it either at full screen application or specific window and even after having it selected and everything being correct and having this little eye there visible it still doesn't capture it it shows something like this right and well i'm gonna try to help you so i did a video about this last year in 2020 uh, that video blew up for some reason. Apparently, a lot of people are having these issues. And I have here better solutions than that video before. I'm also going to suggest this video up there with a card and on descriptions and etc. Um, and I'm also going to try to help you not have to delete everything like I'd said on that previous video. I kind of misinformed people a little bit on that one, so I apologize in advance. Um, but let's go. All right. The first thing you want to do is if you're trying to capture a game, I don't want you to use window capture. I want you to use game capture. That's the first thing. If you're already using game capture, I want you to use also specific window and select the window you want instead of the full screen thing. Some applications do not even work on full screen, so they will not be captured ever. Okay, so make sure that is done. After that is done, if it's still black, make sure that this is visible. And then I want you to go transform and reset transformation and then transform again and center to screen. The reason why I want you to do this is that sometimes people may grab the the uh, the source of the game by accident and just pull it out of the preview zone and then it's stuck there, right? And you can't even grab it. Like, how do I pull it back in? These two options that I just told you will put it back in, so it should be there. If, if up until this point, you still don't have this uh, solved, I want you to close down OBS, and I want you to run it as administrator. Before you run it as administrator, I can give you a better solution so this works all the time, so you don't have to run it as administrator every single time. I want you to go to Properties, Advanced, and make sure this is checked. After you make sure that's checked, you can even go to compatibility and make sure run this program as administrator is also checked. In case there's an issue and you're opening OBS by somewhere else and not actually this shortcut, what I want you to do is find a location of this. This is where it should be in your local uh, hard drive program files, OBS Studio, bin 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what you're using. And after that, you go into the... the uh, the icon, the, the, the app, the X file, and you're going to right click it properties and you're going to go to compatibility and make sure that run this program as administrator is checked. You press OK, you close that, you press OK, and you it's going to ask you to give permissions. You say OK, and now you either just open it completely normal or run this administrator. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because, well, we just did all of that, so it's going to run as administrator all the time. So up until now, if you still don't have your issue solved, I still have a couple more solutions to so stick around. Uh, but the next thing, uh, I mean, up until now, most of you already have this solved. But the next thing I want you to do, it's going to be a little bit more complicated, but I'm still going to help you. Okay, so I'm going to go here into this and this okay this is exactly what we're doing right now i'm gonna disable pre preview this is my obs right now i'm using a different stance as you can see there it is recording um and in here you're gonna have your sources your scenes and you're like oh but uh you know like i don't want to lose all of this because i have to uninstall to downgrade and i really don't want to do that so i want you to do one thing you're gonna go to profiles and you're gonna go export make sure that this is the profile you're using if you have multiple different profiles you may want to you know Select it, export, select it, export. And so you're gonna press export on each one of them. I'm gonna pray I'm gonna create a folder and we're gonna name it OBS. You're gonna open it. In this case, we're trying to export a profile. So we're gonna create a profile and we're gonna put it the name profile EGCT because that was the profile I'm trying to save. So we're gonna go there and I'm gonna select the folder. And boom, we now have this saved 
and there. And it will work on every single instance of OBS, supposedly. Uh, then imagine I have another one and I also want to save that one. Well, we'll export that one as well. We go into the same folder of the OBS that I created, which apparently I created in the wrong place, I'm guessing. Yeah, I created in the wrong place. Make sure you actually um, create it on your desktop, okay? You go in there. We're going to create now a new folder with the name profile test because that's the name of the profile that I was, you know, that I was uh, trying to save. We're going to select it, select folder. Now we're going to do the same thing for scenes. In this case, imagine you only have one set of scenes. So we're going to export that one. We're going to go to the exact same place, same folder of the OBS. And we're here. It's going to create a JSON file. But just in case, we're going to create a new folder just to have everything tidy up and make sure. Scenes, main. And you've got to press it and save. Now, when you go in there, you'll see what I'm talking about. We'll have here some stuff. Um, you want to have it all like in each different folder because you don't want them to mix up Okay, like you don't want to have this all confused or uh, the profiles it usually does this for a scene It's just like a main JSON file or whatever. Okay um, But yeah, make sure all of this is done and only after that that's when you want to uninstall OBS if you don't know how to uninstall OBS uh, We're we're in bigger trouble than I thought all right, you go to uninstall program and you search for OBS and you're going to uninstall it, uh, which it should be here. Okay, you uninstall it, you have your stuff saved. So now when you reinstall it again and you import those things back, you'll have everything set up again, okay? So no need to worry. Um, but I, I want you to go down the description below. There's a version that I have there, a link to the version 24. In this case, I'm using 27, as you can see there. Um, but I don't have this issue ever since I started running as administrator. I, for some of you, it will solve like that. For others, it won't. So put it, install the version 24, okay? Uh, link in the description again, don't forget. And after that, that's when you want, as soon as it opens, you want to go... And I'm going to wait for it to open. We're going to go like here. I'm going to put this on test and then test two. So, so imagine that it's actually going to be something like this. Like it's going to have absolutely nothing here, right? What are you going to do? You're going to go. It shouldn't have anything here either. Or like maybe just like no name or something like that. What you want to do is go import. In this case, we're trying to import a... Uh, a scene collection. And now it's actually saying that it's going to try to find it from 30 pro party programs, don't do that, okay? Because if you have a Streamlabs installation as well, it's going to actually steal stuff from there. This is actually a good way for you to import all the stuff from Streamlabs to OBS, okay? But just in case, uh, you want to press no, and we're gonna go import. Sorry, we're not gonna go import. We're gonna go add. We're gonna go add. We're gonna go into our desktop, into the folder of OBS. We're gonna look for scenes, and this should be the, the briefcase. And then we just do that. And now, bada bing, bada boom, import, and it's going to put in stuff in here. Okay, so there you go. This is the, this is actually the scene that I saved there, which had nothing. So it imported nothing. But for you, it will be different. Um, same thing, import the uh, the profile, you go into the same spot, the, the page over here, and in this case, let's say that I want to import the profile that I had initially, and boom. What this has just done, it imported the options, and now you can then select it. Uh, it imported the options that I have here for uh everything pretty much like the bit rates and so on obviously i'm not going to show the other place because it has keys screen keys and so on um but now we should have everything installed if for any chance after all of this you still don't have the game capture capturing your game then i have one final solution for you which is on the description there'll be a link to the obs discord Go in there, explain your situation to their Discord, and maybe there will be a, sol a solution. Maybe there will be a situation that is close to yours, you know, and maybe they'll already know how to fix it. Um, and talk to them. They'll try to help you out, okay? Be respectful, please. Don't be, don't be an idiot to, to them because it's not their fault. Sometimes it's actually your PC's fault, not even OBS, okay? So please be respectful. And after that, you know, just do whatever they indicate you and... Uh, there you go. It should be solved by now. If it isn't solved by now, I can only say, tell me down in the comments below. 
and I'll try to help you. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to suggest this video now on to the other video as well that I did. So the people are then re redirected to this one, which is a lot simpler and a lot better. And it doesn't have as many issues as the previous one that I was trying to help. And most of you should be solved by the administrator part. But just in case you have here some more solutions, I hope this has helped you. Uh, no need to drop a sub because this is not the type of content I do every day. Okay, I'm more of like a gameplay paladins kind of YouTube channel. Um... But if you want to drop a like and a comment letting me know that it worked and share it with your friends that have the same issues, then I, I'm not going to say no. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.